Hi guys, Fugit here. Firstly, I would like to wish every single one of you a very happy new year. And I know I've been a little bit delayed in conveying my happy new year message, but unfortunately, uh, it's not been such a great start to 2022 for, for myself. It's with profound sadness that my trusted companion and a totally adorable and loving cat of 17 years unfortunately passed away early this morning at about 2 a.m. my time. Um, he didn't go on his own. He, he, we, I was with him. Um, he's been ill for quite a while. It's, well, I say quite a while, it's not been that long. It's actually been a very short but aggressive cancer. I had hoped that he'd got through Christmas with, with us, and he did. I had seen his deterioration since Christmas, however, and I was in the process of liaising with the vet with regards to saying goodbye and putting him down, a decision that I didn't come to lightly and one that traumatised me, to be honest with you. Stuck between saying goodbye to a very dear friend in, in such a way, having the power over life and death and continuing and, and, and not doing that, but continuing with the suffering is painful, to be honest with you. Thankfully, he passed on his own accord and he did so with bravery and dignity. Of course it was very traumatic. It's, a lot of people may not understand because it's just a pet, but you know, I'm, 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 I'm an old guy. I'm 49 years of age. I'll be 50 this year. And I picked up my two cats, their brother and sister, and it's the male who's, who's unfortunately passed on. His name was Tosca. I, I picked them up a week after they were born in the, in 2005. So for 17 years, I've nurtured and cared for and had at my disposal um, two very loving cats. And my male cat, Tosca, was an absolute pleasure. Always ready with a headbutt, always purring, always happy, and always around. And I'm gonna miss him greatly. That's the reason why I wasn't so quick with my New Year's Eve, my New Year's celebratory message. I apologize to that to each and every one of you, but I'm sure you can understand. Some of you may not, I get that. Some of you may not be animal lovers or into pets. I perfectly understand that. However, as I said, I've had my two cats longer than I've had my marriage, <laughs> longer than I've had my boy. And it's, it's a big loss for me. It, it, it is a big loss. I am, um, I'm going to miss him dearly. And it, it's, it's left me a little bit shaken, um, like grief always does. But unfortunately, you know, morality is what it is. And as is, is painful as it is for each and every one of us to come to terms with such loss and our own morality, and we have to appreciate that maybe, just maybe, they're in a better place. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that. As you can see, I'm showing pictures of my, my, my little buddy in the background. He, he, he was amazing. And I love him and miss him dearly. Anyway, thank you all of those who've sent me your kind thoughts and comments. It, it's, it's made a huge difference. Um, and it's, it's really helped me through the last, uh, well, it's less than 24 hours, to be honest with you. Um, just one more thing, he is going to come back to me. Um, uh, this morning I liaised again with the vet, and there will be a kind of funeral, and his remains will be returned to me. So he's never going to leave. And I've done this video. 
So he will be immortalized as far as, and as long as this video exists. And anybody who ever met him will know that he's a truly amazing creature. Anyway, thanks a lot for listening to this story of mine. Um, I, I'm not always forthcoming in what's going on in my personal life, so, but this one sort of hit me for six. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I do wish every single one of you, all 7,500 and whatever it is I now have, I think it's 522, 7,522 miracles. Thank you for your support, and I'll be back soon. Back to being positive and my usual self. And I'll never forget my cat. Bye.